Bless you, thank you. Yes, welcome to more games, gags and gunge here on Cracker Jack. <laughs> Woo, like a football crowd, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I could pamper a pansy. <laughs> what are you? What? I love gardening. Oh, there's nothing I like better than spending a few hours in the garden, tending to my flowers. In fact, listen, not many people know this, but I've got the biggest bloomers in Lancashire. Those. I haven't got the biggest bloomers in like what well, I used to have actually until I saw my Auntie Nelly's bloomers. <laughs> you should see the size of my Auntie Nelly's bloomers. In fact, last week she hung them on the line and 15 squatters moved in. <laughs> but you know, I, I always wish, because I do like gardening, I always wish I knew as much about gardening as that David Bellamy. You know what I mean? Do, David Bellamy. You know the fella? Well, guapo me great nuts. That fella. He <laughs> said, met him once. He said, you know, Francis. If a petunia ever knocks on your door, answer quick. I said, why? He says, because a petunia never knocks twice. <laughs> right, to get it, a petunia never knocks twice. I threw that one in. Should have thrown it out, shouldn't I? <laughs> but until I met him, I didn't know much about gardening. For instance, until I met him, I always thought a busy Lizzie was the queen on a royal walkabout. <laughs> <laughs> Duffer Daffodil. I he said to me, tell me, Francis, he said, do you do a lot of weeding? I said, yeah. In fact, I go to the library twice a week. <laughs> but you know what? He, he told me, this David Bellamy, he's a fascinating fella. He told me he once crossed a rambling rose with a forget-me-not. And I said, what did you get? He said, a rose that never forgets where it's going. <laughs> and if you think that's weird, listen to this. A true story. As true as I'm riding this camel. <laughs> Don't, I'll get the hump. I'll get the hump. Mm, I could rip a tissue. No, true story. I was walking down the road this afternoon, and coming towards me was this fella, and he had a cabbage on a lead. I said to him, what are you doing? He said, I'm taking the dog a walk. I said, that's not a dog. That's a cabbage. He said, is it? Somebody told me it was a collie. <laughs> dog, collie. Well, now it's time to meet two very dear friends of mine, and I know they're dear friends of yours. Come on, a big warm welcome to Keith Harris and Cuddles! <laughs> Just a minute. What? This isn't play your cards right. This is Cracker Jack. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. I, I like that play your cards right. That fella, you know, that, that Bruce Lee. He's good in it. It's not Bruce, Bruce Lee. It's is Bruce it? Forsyth, you fool. What's the difference, Stu? <laughs> What's the difference? Yeah. One of them's a Chinaman. And the other one's a chin man. <laughs> <laughs> Chin, but you know, he's got that big chin that he goes, oh, I'm right, not now. So, <laughs> just, just a minute. Oh, listen. Bruce, Bruce Lee is a fella that does all that, all that karate, you know, all that half thaw, all the karate. Yeah, and, and, and so does Bruce Force. I do karate. He doesn't. He does, he, he does that nice to knee you, to knee you nice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Cut that out for a start. I would do that. I've got a pair of scissors. <laughs> uh, oh, really? Yeah. Well, you're always telling me how sharp you are. Oh, did you hear that sharp? Yeah. I'll tell you two something. What? Then? I'm not as daft as that Dippy. Dippy? Dippy? Do you know what he did, do you know what he did Sue, the other no. day? Dippy, he put Keith here. It's true. And Orville on top of his head. Hmm. 
What for? He said it's good to have friends in high places. <laughs> <laughs> he did daft as the duck, didn't he? I'll tell you something, do you know that Orville? Oh, don't start on about Orville. If Orville had a bit more sense, yeah. he'd be a half-wit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that duck. Well, I listen, do. listen, I listen. Do. I hate that duck. Listen, Cuddles, well, here's a group of people I know you're gonna like. Who? Who is it? Touch. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, would you please welcome Touch. It's time for us to find out what? It's a so that means it's time to meet two people who really be going to messing about in things, all sorts of weird and wonderful things. And our first contestant, Ling, is... Adam Davis from Manchester. Welcome, Adam. Nice to see you. All the way from sunny Manchester. Sounds like you've got the strep for them with you as well up there, <laughs> isn't it? Hey. Right then, and our next contestant, Sarah, is... This is Gareth Sharma, who's from Hanwell in Middlesex. How are you, Gareth? All right. You've got a lot of friends with you as well, haven't you? Yeah. Eh? Right then, I'll tell you what you can do. To start the ball rolling, you can call heads or tails, all right? There you go, you've got the choice. Tails. It's heads, look. Heads. So, Adam, you've got choice. First or second? Second. You're going to go second. second. Right then, excuse us, because right now you're going to choose your joker, young man, aren't you? Now, what's it going to be? The orange square, circle, yellow square, yellow circle? Orange square. It's going to be the orange square, right then, which of course means double your points time if you manage to get that orange square token in that tube. The bad news is, as you know, you've only got 60 seconds. We're ready. If you're ready, let's find out what... In the box! Off we go! And straight in, that's it, really way around. Oh, there's a lot of screaming there, it's like, oh, it's awful, especially when it's worth three points. Could you tell me what kind of creature is a Portuguese man of war? It's a... Uh... Clock! It's a... Uh... 
Time's up, time's quarters up. Oh, we've got glitter, we've got guns. Let's see how many points you've got. And you managed to get four points. <laughs> so, Adam, here we are. Brand new set of boxes for you. Full of all sorts of weird and wonderful <laughs> things. But first of all, Adam, what's it gonna be? Decision time. What's the joker gonna Orange be? Orange square. Orange square again, right then. Popular tonight, isn't it? So, Adam. On your mark, if you're ready. OK, we're ready. You're ready. Let's find out what's in the box. That's it. Straight in, Adam. And he is. Oh, it's a messy one. What is it worth? It's worth two points. Could you tell me? Can Paul of us swim? They can, good boy. Yeah, it is. Time. It's time. It's time. It's Could you tell me what is the opposite of dull? Sad, uh, bright. Right, yes, into the tube you go. Hold it right there. Hold it, Adam, come back and join me because we're now going to look at your score. And we see, Adam, you managed to get eight points. So... So, Adam, eight points. So he's picked you to the post there, hasn't he? But don't worry, young man, look at this. We've got lots of goodies here, look. We've got Orville's new single record there. We've got yeah, other singles from Lamar. We've got our Cracker Jack and you own. <laughs> oh, we're on the ball up there tonight, and we've got LPs as well. All right, together with a Cracker Jack pen. <laughs> so you see, nobody goes away from here empty-handed. Well done, Adam. We're going to see you later on, young man, aren't we, in our celebrity final. Now, if you thought that was fast, just wait until you see our next guest. Can we have a nice big warm welcome, please, for Yuri and Tonya?
Yes, here we go once again with a little bit more mess and a lot more points as we find out what in the box. Yeah, let's meet our next two contestants. Right, Ling, this is... This is Claire Hamburger from Manchester. Claire, welcome, my dear. Hello. From Manchester, just like Adam, eh? Yes. You had a good journey down. Yes, thank you. You couldn't give me a lift back, could you? <laughs> I'll be on the motorway going like that later on. Right then, and our next contestant, Sarah, is... This is Caroline Mobilia, who's from Hanwell. <laughs> Welcome, my dear. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Hey. Ooh, like a test driver, Tonka. Right, ladies, we're going to decide who's going to go first. So, would you like to call heads or tails? Heads. It is. Ooh, it is. So, you've got the choice, first or second? Second. Second. Um, right then, excuse us, because Claire is now going to choose her joker. Aren't you, darling? What's it going to be, Claire? Orange square, please. The orange square. Oh, that is proving popular tonight, isn't it? The orange yeah. square. There we are. Thank you, Ling. So, Claire, are you ready? Yes. Brand new set of boxes with all sorts of weird and wonderful and some nice things behind. All right? Yeah. We're ready if you're ready. Let's find out what in the box. That's it, straight in there. The other way around, when it's round, there we go. Right, it's worth two points. Can you tell me who pulls at his braces, cannon or ball? Uh, ball. Ball, good girl, right. Into the tube. It is, it's Bobby Ball. Rock go, Jimmy! Hey, thank you. As soon as you've got that talk, come back to me again. It's a messy one, but it's worth one point. Can you tell me, where does Haggis come from? Scotland. Scotland, good girl, right. Into the tube. That's another point. We're doing well up tonight. That's three points, I'm here. Keep it still, 31 seconds to go. One, but it's worth two points. Who is the patron saint of England? Saint John. John. Saint George. Yes, right into the tube. That's double your point. That's four points for that one because of course it's your joker. We've still got 16 seconds to go, and it's worth three points again. It's another hard question. Could you tell me what is Gorgonzola? Cheese. Cheese. Good girl. Yes, say cheese. Gorgonzola is cheese, and I love it. Here we go again. We're doing very well again. What does that mean? It means time's up, doesn't it? Yes, the end. You're quite right. So, come on, nice and close. Let's have a look at your score. And we see you managed to get a grand total of ten points! Well then, Claire. So, we now lose that token. Because they're all brand new again, aren't they? Brand new set of boxes. But first of all, what have we got to do? We've got to choose our joker. So, what's it going to be? The orange square. So that means all four contestants tonight have chosen the orange square. Perhaps you've got a bit of inside information, eh? Something I don't know about. Right then, Caroline, what I do know is you've got 60 seconds to find out what in the box. Off we go, Caroline, that's it, straight in. As soon as you've got that talk, I'll bring it back to you. What we've got is worth one point. It's an easy question. What is the Queen's husband called? Prince. Philip, good girl, right? And that's a couple of points, so that's worth two points. Off we go again, Caroline, that's a good girl. Into another box, three really way around, we've got another talk, and this time it's worth two points. Can you tell me, what is a penny black? A stamp, good girl. Into the tube and off we go again. And we've still got 30 seconds left to go. Oh, it's worth one point, it's an easy question again. Can you tell me, which nursery rhyme character was a merry old soul? Old... Good girl, old okay, King Cole. And that's double your points again. That's another one worth two points. That's two jobs laid up to now. It's still 14 seconds to go. As soon as you've got the token and you have back to me for two points this time, could you tell me who owns the most famous corgis in all the world? Who owns them? Most famous corgis. See it on walkabouts with the corgis. Oh, well, actually, don't worry, it's the Queen. The Queen owns the most famous corgis in the world, doesn't she? And we're all messed up, aren't we? Never mind. Let's just look at your score. And Caroline, you managed to get six points! <laughs> so, I'll lose that for now because we've got a lot of goodies for you, haven't we? We've got to say bye bye, but like we say, nobody goes away empty handed. There's your Cracker Jack pen! <laughs> I'll hold it for you. There's our new Cracker Jack annual! And we've got, once again, records. We've got Keith Harris's LP this time, eh? As well as the single, so who's a lucky girl, eh? As well as Lamar and Queen and all oh, fabulous. Well, Claire, well done, young lady. We're going to see you later on again, aren't we? Eh? In our celebrity final. 
But right now, come on, everybody, put your hands together. Let's have a nice, big, warm welcome back to Le Mans! <laughs> Yeah. Well, I've got to say, I've got to say, it's really nice to see you all again, isn't it, Orville? It's nice to see them again, isn't it? Listen, since you were here last, what have you been doing? I, I went shopping today. You went shopping? I did. I went shopping. I, I, I went to the pet shop. The pet shop? Yeah. And did you buy anything, a little pet for yourself? I, I bought a goldfish. A goldfish? I did. I bought a goldfish. Yeah. I, I did. And I also bought some brasso. So, some brasso? Yeah. You bought a goldfish and some brasso? Yeah. What did you buy some brasso for? In case the goldfish tarnishes. You, see? <laughs> you know, it won't tarnish. It's always like that. What? Yeah. So, uh, have you got a name for your goldfish? Uh, do you know what to call it? What do you call it? Explorer. Oh, Explorer! Yeah. And tell me, why do you call your goldfish Explorer? Because it keeps going around the globe. <laughs> so tell me, what else, what else would you like to have got? I, I would have liked to have got myself a little hamster. But why didn't... Why didn't... I like hamsters. Yeah, but why didn't you get yourself a hamster? Because the man said that they, they hadn't come in yet. And where were they coming from? Hamsterdam. <laughs> oh! 
of it. No, it's a terrible joke. Amsterdam don't come from Amsterdam, although they do come from abroad. I like them. You like them? Yeah, because they eat a lot, don't they? They do eat a lot. Look, look, the hamsters, you must have seen them, kids, haven't you? Well, they put all the food in their, in their cheeks. Yeah. A little bit like you. Oh, cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah, but how? Hamsters don't talk, do they? Oh, no, hamsters don't talk. No. Not if they call that food in their mouth, because it's rude to talk to your mouth or eat it. Yeah, it's rude. Yeah. But hamsters like exercise, don't they? Yeah, they, they go on a little wheel. I've seen them on those wheels. They rush around on that little wheel. They go round and round and round and round. Oh, I fell off. <laughs> <laughs> they go round, don't they? They do. All that food in their mouth. Yes. Meals on wheels. <laughs> uh, although, you know, because, you see, kids, I did explain to Orville, I said, because, you know, as he knows, he's always a little bit lonely, aren't you? I get sad when I'm lonely. Oh, well, no, don't get sad. I said, I said, go and get yourself a little, a little pet, you know, like a hamster or a mouse. Yeah. And what did he come back with? Not a mouse, did you? Dippy. That's right, Dippy. <laughs> I said, that's not a mouse. And I said, he's a normouse. A normouse. <laughs> And it is a no. It's a joke. Yeah, only just a joke. <laughs> well, you know, Orville. Yeah. I mean, Dippy, won't he feel, won't he feel put out? Oh no. No, he won't be put out. No, he likes to stay in. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't mean put out like that. I mean with all these other little pets. No, but you see, I like Dippy the best. You do. And in fact, you know what? What? He's here tonight. Dippy's here tonight. Would you like to see him? Yeah. yeah. Give him a shout, then. Come on, Dippy! Come on, Dippy! Hey! What are you? <laughs> oh, <he's> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> he always says that, doesn't he? Yeah. You know, Dippy, I don't think you're stupid because you know what? Next to Keith here... Next to me. You're my bestest friend. Ah. Oh. I'm going to sing him a little song now. Go on, then. Dippy Dragon Artist, he's eight foot tall. He towers above me, cause I am so small And yet his heart is big and strong, just like a tree Celebrity final time, and this week it's very, very interesting because it's the BBC against the other side. The side we never talk about, you know what I mean? You'll see why when we meet our two celebrities, because the first celebrity ling is... From TV AM, Wincy Willis. <laughs> Hello, Wincy. <laughs> Welcome aboard. I love it. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, I'll make a trunk call. A bit understated, isn't it? <laughs> Over the top. I love it. Right then. And from the BBC, our second personality is... Our very own weatherman, BBC Ian McGaskill. 
Welcome aboard, Ian. It's nice to see Thank you, you, Ian. Thank Welcome, you, Ian. Oh, well, Thank you, Stuart. I'll tell you what, no favouritism. In fact, I'm going to, being that you are a lady, I'm going to let you go first. How's about that? Ian, would you excuse us? Would you excuse us, Claire? Because we're going to play the game first. All right. Now then, Wincy. The moment you've been waiting for. Adam, it's you first, of course, then it's Wincy's turn. Once you've answered the question or performed the stunt, are you ready? We're ready. Let's take a letter. Here we go. Right then, straight back to me. We've got the letter end. Adam, we've got a question for you. What is the name of the frog who presents the Muppet Show? Oh, Kermit. Kermit. Right, Wincy, off you go. Good, good, ready. Here we go. Here we go. We've got the letter end. We've got, we've got a question for you. Who might say, smile, please, to a group of people? A photographer, right, off we go again. Go on, Adam, we're doing great two points. The letter B down here. We've got a stunt for you, Adam. We've got a stunt for you. Put a beard on, Stu. Put a beard on, Right, off we go, Wednesday. Oh, thank you very much. I don't like these stunts. The letter H, what have we got? Ah, we've got a stunt for you, Dad. Right, Wednesday. Put on the costume, lads and dress. So, look at this. And the crown, darling. There we are. We've got the letter S as in stump. It is a stump. We've got a stump for you, Adam. Wait, 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 For yes. We. Oui. We, oui, right, correct, off we go. It is indeed. Right to me, we the letter G. We almost had the letter G. You did very, very well indeed. Let's have a look. See, Adam, you managed to get seven points. Yeah. Oh, uh, so, welcome to the bed bedroom, Ian. OK, Claire, it's you first, and then it's Ian's turn. All right, we're ready if you're ready. Let's take a letter, off we go. The weak as you can. What have we got? We've got the letter C up here. We've got a question. Name one, any one of Prince Charles's brothers. Uh, Edward. Right, correct. Edward. <laughs> Off we go, Ian. What have we got? We've got the letter U for you, Ian Downey. Oh, great. We've got a stunt for you. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Right, lovely. Right, there we go. Back to me. What have we got? We've got the letter P, Downey. We've got, we've got a question for you. Could you tell me what was Superman's other name? It's re It's uh, <laughs> Clark Kent, I'll give you that. Well done, Ian. Off you go, mate. Back to me, Ian. What have we got? We've got the letter K, and it's not your day. We've got a stunt for you. Get the rat out of the door, Thank you. It's done it. Right. Off we go again. It's Halloween time. Oh, we've got the letter B. What have we got? Off we go. It's the top. We've got a stunt for you. Mr. Balloons with a mallet. Quick as you can. Go on, give a pass. For you. Which bird lays its eggs in the other bird's nest? Cuckoo! Cuckoo! I never helped you then, did I? No, off we go again. Come on, the BBC. We've got the letter C up here. We've got a stunt for you. Scrape! Oh, I thought that was you. That's it, Thank you very much, mate. I'm going to go with Oh, great. Oh, I don't like the rock of the state. And we see the good old BBC. Also managed to get seven points! <laughs> but now, the moment <laughs> we've all been waiting for. The we moment we all love. <laughs> oh. Yes, says he. Because right now it's the golden opportunity to add a few more points as we invite you to take a chance! <laughs> Sarah's having fun again. <laughs> Look at this. Right then. You look wonderful. Thank you, Wincy. <laughs> this could be you very shortly. Right then, Adam, you decided, if I'm not mistaken, that orange was your joker at the beginning, yes. wasn't it? It was the orange square. So that means the joker for you, Wincy, is the orange chair. All right. I'm in the it. yellow chair. You can't wait. Right then, let's get on with it. Let's play Take a Chance. Get yourself nice and comfy. 
That's it, Wincy. Sit back, relax. Sit back. Right then. Here are the points to be won. Or the penalties to pay. <laughs> Question is, yes. what date is St. Swithin's Day? July 15th. July 15th. Wrong, Stu. Right, Wincy. Did it wrong? used in aeroplanes. An altimeter. An seeing you again next week but actually Orville Keith and myself we'll be seeing you very very shortly that's right we are the BBC's children in need of children in need so don't forget Ooh. and send all your money we'll... in folks okay we'll all see you later so okay. Keith Orville and I'll be with you very shortly with the children in need appeal thanks for looking in see you next week with Cracker Jack yeah!